Hi, right, I'm just here to walk you through how to change the motherboard on your Microtech SHP15LP3MS. Um, okay, so what you should have received if you were getting a replacement part from us is the motherboard, which looks like this with the display. Okay, now to begin, obviously you just need to remove these screws just around the edge. Just a standard screwdriver will work. Um, the two at the, the bottom are slightly smaller screws, but the same screwdriver should be fine still. Uh, for the purposes of the video, I've already uh, removed them, just makes to speed things along. Okay, so once you've moved the panel like that, as you can see, you've got the fan attached. Um, and just because it's a bit tricky just to get through to things, what I recommend is just removing the four screws around the edge of the fan, and then it sort of just clips on like this. Oh. Right, move that out of the way before I cause any more chaos. Right. Place that out of the way. Just down the side. Okay, so now you should have a good view of the motherboard. Up here. Right. Okay. So the first thing you'll notice obviously you've got two connections up here and the main sort of connections here. We'll worry about those later, that's the last thing that we'll be doing. But these first two connections, uh, what I recommend is taking a picture uh, of them first, just to use as a reference. But the easiest way to remember is the top wire, the, the, the wires are on top really, and the, the two red and white cables, the second connection, the lower one, are on the, on the bottom. So, we have these two. Can be a bit stiff. Right, once they're removed, okay, you'll notice that you have the best thing to do is to remove the, the display. So to actually sort of move like the motherboard out. So to do this, you'll need to just unscrew the display. There's four screws around the edge. I have removed the, uh, three of them already. Just again, just to speed things along. But if you just remove this top one up here in the video, again, just. Just get a standard screwdriver, should be fine. Okay, that's the other way. Right, now if you gently push on around the front of the display, you should just be able to push it out like that. It might be a bit stiff, um, this is like, as, again, like the fan, they're sort of connected into like they're sort of slotted in. Okay. I'll just move it around. So okay. So now we've got the motherboard separated. So the next stage is just to remove that that display cover off the front. So you might need a slightly smaller screwdriver than the one that you were using previous, just for the four screws just around the motherboard. So they're located here, 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 and just up there. I've left two in just to keep it from sort of wobbling around too much just in the process. Now, you have the display removed. Okay, so now we're just left with the motherboard and here's the, probably the most fiddly part, or the most tricky part, uh, is removing this block of connections here. Right, so what I'd recommend is getting a flat, flat head screwdriver and as you can see, hang on, I'll just uh, get this in a bit more Right, so if you fit the flat head into the gap, and then you just twist it just to sort of help prise it up. So you've got that initial one. Now you can get a slightly bigger flat head and help twist it up, and this should help prise that 
sort of tricky little connection that you've got there. You can just about see it. So, similar process for the other side. This can be a bit harder now because obviously you've got the previous one. So this can be quite fiddly, so right. Once we use the bigger one, right, so now we've got the motherboard three finally. So all you need to do, so here's your previous, here's here's the new one. So all you need to do now is simply pull off these three buttons. And place them on the new one. After you've done that, it's simply just sort of reversing the process. So I'd start with again with connecting just, just these connections to the motherboard, then the display, placing it back in, connect screwing in the display. Dodges. So screwing in the display after that and then connecting back the fan back to the back panel and then placing the back cover on and that should help and that's that's just the way of replacing the motherboard for the Microtech SHP so hope, hope the video has been helpful All right, thanks